Late night. <laughs> you know I was going to say it. I always say that. I, maybe I need to stop doing that. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I'm David, and this is the 5x5 Five Five Late Night Show. Hope you guys are all doing good, as I am doing pretty good. It's been, it's been a pretty decent day. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, it seemed like I haven't really done anything today, but I had a lunch date. Ooh, don't try it. It's not what you think. But, <laughs> but um, and so I get to have some adult, young. Well, I can't say I'm a young adult. Um, I'm not even gonna say I'm middle age. Some adult me time. Um, uh, not the X-rated variety, which that would have been okay, but um, it wasn't that type of party. Um, but, <laughs> but um, so, but it like this day just was kind of weird because it, uh, I guess I I didn't go to bed too late because I don't know my back was hurting and I just couldn't I was I, I was sleepy all day. Now if you listened to the show last night, you know I I I uh, fixed dinner for my family last night. Um, invited my sister and everybody over um, to eat and. And actually, I finished the leftovers today, and they was just as good today as it was yesterday. It wasn't much left, but what was left, it was really good. Anyhow, um, <laughs> I um, I was really tired yesterday, but as soon as I'm like, okay, I'm done. This I, I've ended my day. I'm finished. I'm laying down. I'm going to sleep. I couldn't fall asleep for nothing. And then I have this anxiety about I don't. I'm not going to get enough rest because I only have one more day off. And I had to work on Friday because you know Fridays are my Mondays. You know all know that um, story. But I'm like, seriously, can I not fall asleep? And I normally fall asleep. I've been I've been watching them. If you listened to yesterday, um, excuse me, Braxton Family Values on um, on Netflix on my Apple TV, and. Um, and so that would I would watch enough of those episodes that would make me really groggy. So I would, you know, be just about ready to fall asleep by watching. And also, none of my new stuff um, came on this week. There was no Arrow. There was no original. There was no um, what's the show? Agents of Shield. Um, of course, Coven is, American Horror Story. Coven is gone. So I'm like. There's nothing to watch on TV, so that would normally kind of wear me out in the evening when I'm winding down. Um, I need to start working out. You know, I've, I've been on this water kick, I, you know, two little over two weeks now, and um, haven't drinking, drinking, have I drinking? That's that's some old country stuff. Sorry, I haven't drank any uh, soda, but I've been drinking my sparkling ice. I, <laughs> you know what? Walgreens tricked me. I went to Walgreens today because I, I remembered them having uh, water on sale three for two dollars. I remember I told you that yesterday. But when I get to Walgreens today, it wasn't the same thing. It was they pulled a trick. They pulled a trick on me. Um, they and they're mimicking the sparkling ice. Get the sparkling ice. I'm sorry, Walgreens, but your water doesn't taste all that great. It's just it's it's almost too much carbonation in their water. It's, it's like because it has um that really you know when you drink a really cold ginger ale or or sprite even um, if it's real cold and it's real real it seems like it's really fizzy it kind of burnt it has that bite to it uh, it's not a bad bite it just has like ooh okay that's a little much to take in that's why I couldn't drink the water because it had too much carbonation in it but Walgreens tricked me they um they call it sparkling water and it looks just like the bottle almost. Uh, it's skinny, and you, <laughs> and it's sixteen point sixteen point nine fluid ounces, where the sparkling ice is seventeen fluid ounces. I know that's only a sip difference. I know this, but um, they tricked me, and it does it well. And it has everything that um, that the sparkling ice has at um in the way of um. 
vitamins. It has all the vi vitamins, um, the three, the six, the twelve, the five, the, the I think it's biotin, um, and the green tree ec green tree extract. Um, but it doesn't taste the same. They have all the different flavors. Oh, and I went, if you go to Sparkling Ice, I think it's sparklingice.com. I'll try to pull it up. Um, and I am following them on Twitter, so check out Sparkling Ice um, because they have me hooked right now. Um, if you go to their website, um, yeah, sparklingice.com. Um, go ahead and give them a follow on Twitter. That's because I love them so much. But they have they have some that I've never seen before. Like they have a ton of just lemon aids. They have a cherry limeade that I haven't seen anywhere. So tomorrow, before I go to work, I'm going to the big Walmart store because I don't know if you guys in your city if you guys have a little Walmart uh, neighborhood where there are grocery stores and they call it the Walmart neighborhood market. Um, I mean, they have, I mean, they have all, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different kind of lemonades, you know, cause the classic lemonade is on point, the regular lemonade, yeah, but the classic lemonade is on point. And they have these, they have, uh, orange aid, they have a cherry limeade, uh, they have a, I think that is, is iced tea. Lemon with tea, um, pink lemonade, raspberry lemonade. What is this other one? Uh, mango. I think I've seen the mango lemonade, I think, or the mango orange. Anyhow, so when I went to the website, I'm like, oh, my God, look at all this, this different kind of lemonades that I haven't seen in the stores here. So whomever needs to, there is a, and I haven't done it yet, um, there is a uh, place where you can see where you can uh, buy the actual um uh, different uh, look where you can buy sparkling ice at uh, retailer wise and so um, but you know the Walgreens one don't don't get tricked even though it is on sale it's, it's not worth it, it it's just the dollar <laughs> so tomorrow I'll stack up on my uh, lemonade for the remainder of the week um, I'm not going to waste the Walgreen brand because I paid for it. Like I'm ready. This is pomegranate berry and I'm not very, I'm not a big pomegranate fan, but sometimes I like the flavor, but it's, it's there is that extra fizzy bite and the flavors to me, the flavors aren't as true as the sparkling ice. So enough of that. I know you're tired of me talking about sparkling ice, uh, but I think is I had to talk about it and hype myself up about it. So I won't think about sodas, which I'm very, very proud of myself that I haven't been drinking any sodas. And I think that's why, like yesterday, like I told you, I think that's why I got tired because I was so hyped up on sugar from the day that, um, when I did crash, I was tired. And now that I'm not hyped up on sugar, I get tired. Then I get finally get my second win when I eat the right stuff and get the right am amount of carbohydrates and uh, protein, or whatever. And then I can't fall asleep. So I don't know what that's about. So I, I need to work something out. Anyhow, so <laughs> I really I ramble sometimes. I do apologize. But I want to first one. <laughs> first one. I don't even know what I was talking about. From at the beginning of the show, um, I probably need to listen to what I was saying. Uh, I was talking about my day and so my sparkling. When I got on sparkling ice, I just lo I lost all kind of um, sense. Um, I think I was talking about being tired, but you know, yeah, I was saying because you know Friday's my Monday, so when I can't get any sleep. Uh, when I don't think I'm getting any sleep, and I had my last day, it's like, ugh. So this would be my today was my Sunday, and I'm like, ugh, please, 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 um, let me fall asleep. So and I had to get up a little early. Well, I got up earlier. Not that I had to get up. I had to get up earlier. I I got up earlier uh, than I normally do on a day off. Um, and but then I was sleep. Uh, is this weird? I I did. I, I probably need to go have a need to go have a sleep test or something because it was just very weird. Um, <laughs> but, um, so like I said, I, um, I actually get to have some adult time today, um, to do something for myself. Like I had a date, quote unquote, and, um, I'll tell you about that when we come back. I never get the flu. My kids don't need more shots. I don't have time. We're all healthy. My asthma's under control. I'm pregnant. I've had the flu. It's not a big deal. My kids are too old the for flu. The media is exaggerated. I can fight it naturally. 
No matter how you build your excuses, the flu can blow your house down. Keep your foundation strong. Vaccinate. Learn more at flu.gov. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I like that. That is so smooth. I like that. But anyhow, thank you guys for listening. <laughs> thank you guys for following the show. Um, listen to me ramble sometimes every night, sometimes once a week. Um, and however, wherever, whenever you're listening to me, I do appreciate it. Um, uh, growing, growing, and um, I think I'm a little more confident uh, than I was almost a year ago. Um, tomorrow, I don't know, I guess it's officially we're 20 minutes into Valentine's Day. I don't have a Valentine, and last year at this time, I said I wasn't going to be single um, for Valentine's Day. And I still haven't. <laughs> I always give my mother something nice, um, but I, I, I kind of all my ideas kind of went with Christmas, and I'm like, mm, what, what do you buy your mother for Valentine's Day? Because um, part of the day she'll be in dialysis, but um, you know when she comes home, I'll be at work, and then my sister will be taking care of her. But I'm like, what do I get her? Do I give her flowers? My mother has a crazy green thumb. Um, she can grow just about anything, uh, but I hate bu- buying flowers in the winter time. It seems like it just doesn't make sense. And I and I I like fresh flowers um, if they stay fresh for a very long time. I don't like uh, when they start wilting and getting all stanky and stuff. Somebody said if you put um, aspirin in the water, it keeps the flowers fresher longer. So and I wanted to buy my niece something and get my so I, I'll probably get cards for my sister and my niece. Um, maybe something for my nephew, and then do you buy your dad something for Valentine's Day? Does a does a uh, forty year old, forty something, <laughs> buy uh, Valentine's for their father? I love him, but eh, no, I don't think I'm going to. So that should be a group card, like put, you know, I'll get the card and put all of our names up from your children, you know, because I, I, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but. So I was thinking, what do I buy my mother for Valentine's Day? What do I get her? That and I can't. You know, of course, I'm waiting till the last minute because I'm not, I'm not going to buy it till Valentine's Day. But I'm not. You know, it's not going to be a morning thing. I'll, she'll have it when she gets home. I want to want to surprise her. She she can't eat sugar. And so we were at Wal, Walgreens today, and <laughs> I I said, hey, what do you want for Valentine's Day? I said, you want me to get you some sugar free because she's diabetic. I said, you want me get get you some sugar free um. Candy, you know, <laughs> my mother, <laughs> if you only knew, um, and she, <laughs> she's like, I don't want no sugar free candy because, <laughs> because, um, it put, they put that stuff in there that makes you use the bathroom. <laughs> of course, she didn't say it that, uh, tactfully. Um, and I said, what? I said, well, you can't eat. I said, cause they have, they had, you know, they have all this, um, Valentine's Day candy, you know, up and down the aisles and balloons and pink stuff and all that kind of. It's just, it's a hallmark holiday. Um, I could care less about the holiday. What because it's so commercialized now, which you know it is what it is. Um, but <laughs> but uh, she she does. So I can't get her any chocolate because if I get her um, uh, sugar free 
she's not gonna eat it because she's already told me that's something she wanted so I don't know maybe I'll buy her a nice scarf get her some a flower of some sort um, she needs some new headphones but my mom is hard on headphones I've purchased um, I got her new nice headphones for Christmas I bought some for during the summertime because hers I've given her pairs of mine and she tore them up if you can't take care of them then you don't deserve them <laughs> I know that sounds kind of janky but that's how I feel so I don't know so cards for my sister I might get her a little flower ooh I hope that's what I want to get a perfect idea for my sister uh, I'm going to get her an air plant that's what I, I I hope I can find one tomorrow because I have limited time you know cause between dropping my mother off at 11 and because I'm mm, at 12 to 1 I got to be at work at 3 o'clock oh yeah I'm going to be pushing it um Cause there's a wall. See if I go, I'm gonna go to the other wall. Well, you guys don't need to know all that, but uh, I'll work it out. Anyhow, so what are you getting your? Uh, tweet me at the five by five and tell me what you're getting your honey, significant other, parent or friend for Valentine's Day. I don't expect anything, so you can tweet me. All well, too late for gift ideas. Just tell me what you got or what you're getting. Send me a picture at the five by five. And hashtag for my little fr my friend Ken Boggle, hashtag L the number eight night late night um, at the five by five and the five is our numeric. Let me know um, uh, what you did for Valentine's Day. Uh, I'll be at work, so I'm not doing anything. Um, <laughs> like I said, I had my date tonight. <laughs> well, this afternoon. <laughs> so. Anyhow, <laughs> I digress. So yes, I had a day today, uh, but it was with a girl. <laughs> one of my, one of the people, one of the people that I've known since kindergarten, and we're still friends. We were friends all through grade school, through junior high, through high school. Um, not that we lost contact, because uh, she was in the service um, for a very long time, and then when she came back, we reconnected. Um, and then over the last, th then I, of course, then I moved away, and then she moved away again. Uh, so we were living in two different cities, but we always, you know, the whole Facebook thing is good for something. And um, but then she recently moved back to the area. You know, I moved back to the area, and uh, so we've been trying um, to maintain our friendship. You know, because she she's single, and of course I'm single, and we both uh, are, are share in our distaste for the area, but we're back for our family, so that's what is, that's what's important. Like I said, so she she knows me. Only thing I just mm, she might listen to this. I'm not gonna say, but she's a good person, and uh, we always have. Um, she was mocking me a lot. I guess you know I, I had my whole Tamar Braxton act going on tonight, and she was mocking me. I'm like, girl, will you stop mocking me? <laughs> That ain't hot. Tell you more Braxton, right? And so, <laughs> and so, um, I texted her this morning. I'm like, hey, are we still getting together? Because we had planned to get together last week, but we had all the ice and stuff, and I didn't want to deal with all that. Um, here's the thing, though. I have so many girls wanting to go hang out with me. You know, um, last week it was like three, and then this week is like, well, maybe two, three, two or three. And I'm like, <sighs> I don't have time to be doing that, and supposed I don't have, I don't get money like that to be going out to eat. Cause going out to eating, although it can be fun, and, and and you know the whole fellowship thing is all all nice and cute and things, but that's you know that's not how it's, it's expensive. So it can be, you know, like we, it's not like I'm going to hang out with my friends at McDonald's. That's not going to happen. And uh, so I texted her this morning. She's like, "Well, uh, where you want to go?" So I couldn't think. I couldn't decide. So I, I guess I think I called. She called me, and I said, "I don't know. You just think of a place." Because I told her, I think I, I said this yesterday. I didn't want. I wanted a margarita, but I, I didn't want Mexican food. And so she came with the came up with a brilliant idea. She's like, "Well, the boat." And so we have a casino here, um, like a, a riverboat casino here, and it has like all these like seven or eight restaurants on the complex where it is uh, and there's things to do and drink so we end up going to a Max and Irma's and I think Max and Irma's is a chain I've seen them in different cities uh, but we had this really nice waitress she was her name was Gigi 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 and I think she didn't know how to take me 
<laughs> because I'm like, again, anywhere I go, I don't really give waiters a hard time, but in a fun way, not just trying to be mean, because if you end up being their friends, this happened to me before, when I lived in Atlanta, I always made friends, I always went to the, if it was a good waiter, I always went to the same waiter, I said, let me sit, can I sit in such and such a section, you know, I always tip very well, and I normally got free dessert. But Gigi wasn't coming off no free dessert today. And so <laughs> and so she um <laughs> she she was nice though. She and I asked her where she was from. We talked about traveling and um coming back to the area and, and, and consequently she she came back to the area um from Richmond. See I know all about her business. From Richmond to take care of her father. Which what she said was she she her father left her mother and coming back uh, she realized why they got divorced when she was little when she was eight years old I'm like girl you were telling me too much you know it comes a point in the conversation where um, I don't need like remember the episode of the day I don't need to hear all that and so but she was fine and so I asked her normally because I because I haven't eaten at Max and Irma's but two other times in my life and. Um, and they, they, they do like sandwiches and stuff and but I did have a fabulous margarita it was really 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 good I was shocked it was really good um it was really good I don't even know how much it was because <laughs> it was that good um but I got what they called a and I'll have it on the website what they called a bodacious burger yeah, it wasn't too bodacious. Then they have a max size and have an Irma size. I guess the max is kind of the manly, a bigger size. Max, max, you know, play on words. And the Irma was for the chick, which is fine. And so this max, no, this bodacious burger had a. And I was asked, I said, well, you know, what do you recommend? Because you know, I, I, I when I go out to eat lunch, something I keep it simple. Give me. <laughs> A bacon cheeseburger, some fries, or some chicken <laughs> tenders, or something, and some onion rings, and I'm cool. And I so I'm like, let me try something different. And so burger wise, because you know if you go to remember, um, we don't have I don't have Ruby Tootsie here, but Ruby Tootsie has some good burgers. I used to go over there and meal when I lived in Atlanta, but we don't have them in this area. Um, but so this bodacious burger had uh, it was a big burger. And they, they said, I guess it's not a, a they they pad it out instead of uh, it's not an already cut patty. I guess I wonder if they had pink slime in it. I don't know. Anyhow, and so <laughs> the uh, it had goat cheese, a goat cheese and garlic cheese something on it, and that sounded really good to me because um, I like garlic. And she was said it was kind of buttery, and um, and then it had bacon and then this and a bacon marmalade on it. You know, bacon makes everything better. But so it comes out. And so Gigi is standing there and I'm anybody. And, then, you know, I learned it took me a long time to learn that I don't need my food burned for it to, to be feel safe with it. So I always get medium well, which is which is cooked enough. And um uh, my date, my friend, she she had her she she got hers well done and, and it was burned. I'm like, girl, your your food is burned. And um, a really good friend of mine taught me that David stopped getting well stuff well done, get medium well because then it'll be juicy and all that stuff. Anyhow, I can't do um, medium or I can't do medium rare because it's nasty. But um, and so um, and so she's standing there, and so I don't like my food really hot, because to me, and I don't know if it makes sense to you guys, if your food is too hot, you can't taste it. And I have a very sensitive mouth. As much as I run my mouth, you would think it wouldn't be sensitive. But I have a very sensitive teeth, sensitive tongue, gums, all that. I'm, my mouth is very sensitive, and I don't like burning. And it's probably more psychosomatic than anything else. But I don't like burning my mouth, and so. Um, she, she's standing there, and I, in my head, I'm like, okay, we're having a conversation, and we're not including you, but you're just kind of hanging out by the table, which was fine. It wasn't anybody else in there. You can hang out. I'm friends with everybody. And so, and so she interjects in the conversation. She's like, I'm just waiting for Mr. 
she called me something. I can't remember what she called me uh, to try that burger so I won't be in trouble. I'm like, girl, I'll let you know if you're going to be in trouble. And then I tasted it, but it was too hot. And so here I can't spit it out of my of my mouth because that's gross, right? And um, so I put my napkin up to my face and I'm trying to, I said, I can't taste it. It's too hot. Come back. And so she finally uh, uh, went away. And then she, when I'm finally start eating, and she comes back. And, you know, thank you. They only gave me like four or five fries. I was so, uh, I didn't say anything. I'm like, yeah. Y'all gave me. I get more fries than that stuff. Yeah, and they're like the big steak fries. They were they were good. You know, there's not they don't have salt and stuff on the tables. You know, if you want it, because they don't want you to season your own food. I guess. I guess that makes sense if you're a real chef. I guess they don't. You don't want you changing anything about the food. But I like salt. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and so she comes back. And I'm eating it, and I'm like, hmm. I said, you want my honest opinion? Because the little goat cheese, creamy salt stuff, it wasn't. It, it tastes okay, but it was almost too, I don't know what the word is, maybe. It was really, really rich, and it, it takes, I don't know if it was a gamey taste. It, 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 it didn't taste like cheese and I think it was more of the texture I don't know something wasn't right and I couldn't taste any garlic because I wanted that garlic um, you know how, how they say on uh, the little cooking shows I want that garlic note to come through and it didn't and so <laughs> um, uh, my friend she had uh, asked for a side of mayonnaise for her uh, sandwich so I put some mayonnaise on mine and it ended up tasting a lot better but it, it was okay <laughs> 1 out of a 10 scale I give it a 7 you know, I get the margarita at 10 because it was really, really good. And then, you know, I forgot about it. I used to drink mojito like they was going out of style. But um, so and this is on the this is in the complex where the uh, casino boat is. And uh, and then <laughs> I had to, I wanted to check my coat because I didn't want to carry it on the boat because it was actually really warm in there. And I'm like, I'm not carrying that lugging that coat all the way around because I want everybody to see my fabulous outfit with my fabulous shoes. <laughs> <laughs> not really um and so i it, it, that was the ordeal trying to get your coat checked it was like i was like this is silly and um so we we go into the boat and uh we're making jokes and of course i'm always making jokes i always have something um to say but you know we'll talk about the old gangsters at the casino when we come back Girl, you cold-hearted. Let me see your resume. Uh, let's get it started. And you got that super tongue in your ass, so fat it's retarded. Pout it. I just won't whip it, then pout it. All I need is a swig of the dog is then I'm a dog. Get off and ballin'. Shit on the off and trick a whip with a dog and stealing them softly. Like, bitch, I'm this shit and you know this. Step out my outfit, pippin' and motion. Yo, pussy, I own it. Ain't gotta be mine for me to control it. I'm all in your zone it. Like, what did you want it?
Actually, I haven't played that song in a very long time. I like that. That's who am I working for by Tanashi. Welcome back. It is the 5 by 5 Late Night Show, and I'm your host, David, sitting here telling you about my day. Um, in the second um, half of the show today, I will be taking another quiz, you know, like I do. Um, and this is what state did you? what state do you actually belong in? So... Um, and, and whatever the quiz results are, I move in. Whatever the quiz results are, I am moving. But thank you guys for listening. Oh, and by the way, check out um, check out a good friend of mine here on Spreaker.com, and that would be the one and only Dwayne Hadley from the Dwayne Hadley Radio Network. Um, Dwayne, he's always, like I said all the time, he's so complimentary to me. Check him out. Um, he talks about just about everything. He's very, very um, positive. I think that's what first attracted me um, to his show. Um, so check out uh, Dwayne Hadley because he's always plugging me on his show, and I, I appreciate that. And that something that he doesn't have to do, but he does it. So I do appreciate that. So back to the story at hand. Um, I <laughs> um, we we I get my coat checked, and so we finally get on the boat, and um, and I'm looking around. I'm like, hmm. There's a ton, and when I say a ton of people, I I, I thought Lawrence Welk was in town because <laughs> I swear every elderly person in the city was at the remote, and they weren't playing around. I mean, seriously, they <laughs> they were not playing around. And we thought it was hilarious. And they were, you know, the, I, I like old people, <laughs> you know. Uh, but some of them were kind of gangsta. I was like, this one chick, so we're walking, you know. First, you got to do your walkthrough, okay, like, let people see you. Because there were some cute people there, some cute boys there. I was like, oh, hey. And getting some sex, because I did look really, really cute today. And, <laughs> and um, uh, <laughs> I, um. Uh, you know, we're just kind of walking. You know, because there's three there's three levels to this particular casino. I get I don't I've never been to, been in another one, so because I don't gamble, um, I might get the occasional lottery ticket, yes, but I don't gamble like that. So, uh, <laughs> while um, we're walking, you know, so I think we started out on the second floor. Oh, I'll tell you that in a second. Starting on the second floor, so I, I said, well, I'm not going to spend a lot of money. It, it, it wasn't in me to spend. So when we got a cocktail, well, my friend got, got a cocktail. And um, and so we're kind of walking around. And uh, we stopped at this one machine. And this lady, had, I seen there was chairs flipped up on. Not on, but, you know, leaning against particular machines. And I see this woman looking at me. She's an older woman. And I'm like, oh, if I go over there, I will get punched in the throat. Trust. And so um, the, she runs back over to this, the other side. They're, you know, sometimes they're they're back to back in rows. And so she was on one side. And she had this lanyard with your little car that you put in to get points I guess for how many uh, they're, they're tracking how much money you're spending at the casino and I guess you get you can redeem your points for free plays or merchandise or something I don't know I, I'm, I'll never find out because I'm never going to waste that much money at the casino and so and so she had started on another machine but I guess her other machine had hit so she had ran back on the other side and she flipped a little cheer up I'm like oh alright G and so and I'm like, okay, you did that. And so then we see there's like a whole lot of, I I, I don't want to say old because that seems really mean, but they were old people, older people. And so the great gray hairs, you know, gray hair, blue hair, you know, wrinkles. And 
<laughs> it was black and white as like. There was black old people down there too. And uh, I think they all came on them smiley buses. Y'all got smiley buses in your city where um, <laughs> the, it's the smiley bus that takes the old people all around to the little elderly events and retiree re- re- events and things like that? I don't know if you guys have that, but we have them here. Anyhow, so everybody's around these really big, um, like, they're not jumbo, but like these flat screen TVs. And it's a whole bunch of, they, they had a tournament. And so I happened to see a friend of mine, her and her husband won the tournament. And so I had texted her and I, I'm like, girl, I see your name up on the board down the boat. And they had like a million points. I'm like, girl, what were you doing? Did you win something? She's like, oh, it was a lover's thing for Valentine's Day, and we did it for fun. I'm like, oh, how much money did you spend? You know, that ain't fun. I didn't get to it, but this all, they're all looking at that, and they're all in amazement about this board and how, how the contest went. They're all just kind of standing there, and I'm like, what is really going on? And the thing is, and I'm not judging anyone, um, because my thing is, I, I might have spent $20. I came home with 20 I know that. And... Um, and between buying drinks, um, cause I didn't, my friend bought me lunch. That was so nice of her. Um, I, I have a good friends. The friends I do have, the real friends <laughs> that I do have, um, friendships that have lasted a lifetime. I have really good friends because I had every intention of paying for her lunch. Um, but she, she wouldn't, she wouldn't hear of it. She was like, no, I got it. So I'm like, all right, big ball of shot call. You want to ask me twice? Because <laughs> I'll take a free meal. And um, <laughs> and so and so then we sit at the bar because uh, she likes to drink. <laughs> and I could, thing is, they had the nerve to sell set her home in the restaurant. I was kind of upset with that. I wanted something different. <laughs> That's not me being boo ghetto. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Um, anyhow, so we're sitting at the bar, and then they had these little um slot machine thingies well first i played one that had like tarzan and people on it i didn't win anything there so it went down to eight so whatever i try to play blackjack see this is why i don't gamble because i don't understand what's going on with the code i can play spades i can play spades and i can play rummy and what other card game i can play i can play garbage that's about it and there's a game my mom used to teach, taught me and my sister when we were little called pity pat that's it. I, I I can't. I don't play. I don't gamble. I don't play those kind of games. No, there's anything wrong with it. I don't understand. And I, I'm sure if I invested a little time to learn what was going on, I would probably be good at it. But I don't. I don't care enough. So <laughs> she's telling me push this button, push this button. I'm a good girl. I don't know what's going on. Jack's a better, and she's yelling Jack's a better. And then the and then this waitress, she had the biggest breast, and they was almost almost. I swear, almost seen the areola. I'm like, girl. You need to tighten that up, but I guess she was getting tips, so she was living. And so, <laughs> and so, um, we walk around some more. And then the one machine that I found that actually liked me, they had. And, you know, and the thing is, they had a mach- um, several machines that were like Indian. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of mean. Is that a little racist. And I should took a picture. Um, they had Indian. Um, Motifs and it was called it was called some Indian name. I was like, yeah, y'all tried that one. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, we can't put no money in this one. And so I went to this one and, and, and listen when I say this, I only played the penny slot, so I wouldn't expect them to get rich, but I wasn't trying to lose money either. But then this this one couple that had told me and they they do too much. He had jumped up from him his machine and he had his cigarettes there and he had. Um, a beer. He's like, and I'm not even talking to you. He's like, hey, brother, uh, can you watch that? I, I, before I can even say no, <laughs> you know, because I'm, I'm not watching that. You ain't never said I'm going to steal something from you. And so he runs across and I'm watching him. And he he's like, thanks for watching that for me. But I had to stop the old lady before she spent all the rent money. Are you saying, I guess, I guess he was playing. But there were some people down there that didn't look like they should have been down there. Not that I'm prejudging anybody because you never really should judge a book up, a book by there, by its cover. Um, cause I wouldn't want to be prejudged um, by any means. But I'm like, are you sure you should be, cause, but you know, people got the tax money. So there's a lot of people running right here like they're rich. And I'm like, are you sure you should be down here? 
<laughs> you know, and he's talking. He's like, yeah, she'll sit and she'll spend all the money and we won't have any money. Then you need to go home. And then this one guy, and we're on the boat, right? And there's an elevator. And he has his father in a wheelchair. And I, I saw y'all going up and down. What are y'all doing? And he's like, and this other guy's like, we're trying to get to the parking garage. I'm like, well, you're not going to, we're on the boat, boo. We're not, you, you can't get to the parking garage from here. I said, you have to go out at one of the exits. And then I told him the wrong exit because they moved the floors like, Sometimes you enter from floor one, sometimes you enter from floor two, sometimes you enter from floor three. And I told them two is where we came on, but during the time we were there, they had moved the entrance to three. So I'm sure they was mad at me, but you know, go home. He's in the wheelchair. And then, and I kid you not, I promise you guys, I'm not lying. They're shrieking across the whole floor. There was an old lady in a wheelchair with one leg and she was getting it i'm like girl it is not that serious can't you be at home but i guess she's living her life she's like one leg or not i'm putting these coins in this machine but what happened it used to be and i used to like that machine that i mean like the sound of the little coins falling out because it used to be they see this is how long i haven't been you had actual coins that you uh, put in the machine and then you press the button or pull the lever and now you just put your money in like at an arcade or something and uh, but again with the with the machines like with the penny slots you can play uh, 50 lines I guess, I guess that's and that's 50 cents so you play 50 lines and you in whatever if you, then it's like maybe 30 or 40 of these pictures on the screen and if you get something in the 30 picture with 40 with those 40 lines or 50 lines you can win something so one machine that we finally said where we ended up at and we ended up talking just kind of sitting and shooting the shit um i forget what it was called but i took a picture of it um it had these like doubles and triples and so i kept on <laughs> I, I I got my ten dollars back and I was like at eleven something and I went up to like twelve, maybe even maybe I don't think it made the thirteen. And that's why I should have hit the cash out. I'm like, ooh, because I'm gonna keep on getting um these little double things to keep on because it doubles whatever you bet. So if you if you if you bet forty, it, it double, tripled, or quadrupled your bet. So if you bet forty and it had a double, you got eighty. If you hit a triple, you got one hundred and twenty to dollar twenty, and so on and so on. And so I got one five, and but see every time I, that would be on like the minimum bet. So every time I would do double like a hundred, I would lose my money. So it went really fast, and I, I came home and I think I had five cents left on my little ticket thing. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> but it was a well, it was it was well worth going out, hanging out with with one of my lifelong friends. And we're gonna try to do once every other week, not every week, because we'll get on each other's nerves. Although I want to go out tomorrow night because I want to go see the strippers, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that either. I'll probably be tired. Uh, so, <laughs> and then a coworker calls me and wants me to come into work. I'm like, no, I'm not working tonight, even though I should have went. Um, but I'm like, mm, nah, I can't do that. Because then go back and work at 3 o'clock, and oh, nah, I don't have time for all that. Anyhow, <laughs> so that was my day. I, um, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself. You, you ought to, you need to take time out for your, why I said all that and told that story. You have to take time out to uh, enjoy yourself, no matter what your circumstances are. Even, even if you don't have any money, you know, take a walk, take a drive. Uh, get on the computer, play your favorite game. You know, take an hour out to do nothing and watch your 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 favorite television program, or sleep extra. Get an extra hour of sleep. You have to do something, especially when you get a, a particular age and you think the world is kind of pulling you in all kind of directions. I think it, it, it's healthy, and I, I'm learning this because I think my sole purpose of being back here, and this is she, she shared this sentiment with me, is to be here for the family. You know, and I and I'm slowly realizing, or I've come to realize, that that can't always be the case. You have to uh, be there for yourself and make yourself happy, because if you don't, you start resenting everyone and everything that's pulling you around. Then you're just unhappy and depressed, and that's how I feel about that.
that was kind of a pick me up. I need to play that song during the day, not at night time. People trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Welcome back to the 5x5 five five Late Night Show. I'm your host, David, and we're just sitting and chatting and talking. It's quiet in the Spreakerverse tonight. Um, oh, and look for the 5x5 five five Late Night Show to be on iTunes in the next couple of days so you can... Um, follow us there. I forgot I never submitted it to, I, to iTunes. I knew it was going to be on iHeartRadio because I, I play uh, music. Um, but I was like, hmm, I need to put it on iTunes. And I totally forgot to do it, but I just did it mm, either yesterday or the day before. So look for, I'll let you guys know. Um, you know, you can always find that information out at the 5x5 on Twitter or our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the 5x5 completely spelled out, or check out the blog, the 5x5.blogspot.com, and the fives are numeric. Thank you guys Thank you guys again for joining me tonight. I'm not going to be very long. I've um, been trying to keep it, keep it cute and keep it simple, but I've been seeing today that uh, Facebook from BuzzFeed.com has been going around Facebook uh, 5,000 shares so far, so far but uh, surely it's more um, there's a quiz uh, named what state do you actually belong in I'm like oh that would be fun to see where do I belong because I know I don't belong here in the state of Indiana which by the way newsflash uh, the HJR3 um, proposal uh, has been smacked down, um, but it's not not in the sense to where we got a victory. It's a victory because it's not going to be in the ballot in November. Um, it's all about the wording, what was left out of it, um, how the definition of marriage is defined in the Constitution, uh, the state Constitution. And I'm like, huh. So it's it's a win, but it's not a win because. Um, they need to they can't they can't change it it's something about they can't change the wording when it's brought uh, to the Senate um, so from the House of Representatives to the Senate um, uh, the um, the the wording changed so they couldn't it, it got smacked down on those grounds so I sure there'll be another fight I'm sure down the road but we won't be voting for voting voting for or against it on um, during November, uh, during uh, election month in November. And also, these states, like if you listen to last night's episode, I told you about Kansas, um, is pushing a bill. The House of Representatives has pushed it on to the Senate um, to where they can deny same sex couples and homosexual services um, just for, for them being gay. Um, from what I read earlier today, Idaho is doing the same thing so I'm like ugh, y'all need to stop because I want y'all like I said if y'all gonna do this I'm gonna start I'm gonna, I'm gonna write to my senators and start <laughs> making a bill to uh, stop eating at fast food not fast food at at a um, Red Lobsters and all the seafood places because if you're selling seafood and shellfish and all that stuff you're going against the Bible but I, I talked about that last night, so I won't be talking about it again. Okay, to the quiz. Um, what state do you actually belong in? The first question was, which of these is your favorite fast food chain? Sabaros, and then they give you a list of all these restaurants. Sabaros is Jerry's, Chick-fil-A, mm, Giffords, never heard of that, Whataburger, eating there once, Popeyes, I love, Space Aliens, never heard of, Moxie Java, Dunkin' Donuts, PT's Green Genos and Taco John. See, I thought Taco John's was local, but obviously it isn't. Um, oh, see, that's where it's going to get you because I know Taco John's is local in Indiana, but I, that's not my favorite restaurant. My favorite out of all those, my favorite restaurant is Dunkin' Donuts. If y'all didn't know, now you know. I love me some Dunkin' Donuts. There's not one in this area, but I still love it. It's not really a, a restaurant. So the next question is, which of these TV shows appeals to you most? Army Wives, The Drew, the Drew Carey Show, Breaking Bad, Community, American Pickers, The Pretender, Justified, The Office, Gilmore Girls, uh, Buckskin, Hawaii Five-O, Hawaii or Parks and Recreation? Um, honestly, 
I seen an episode of Justify the other day, but it's not something that I had to watch. Community, I don't really like. And God forbid, I never watched Breaking Bad. I hear it's good, but I never watched it. Um, it's going to come down between American Pickers and The Office, which since The Office has Mindy calling from The Mindy Project, and I love that, and The Office is really funny, I'm going to choose The Office. Oh, this is funny. The next one is Choose a Baby. And so, you know, there's these babies. This baby with these crazy blue eyes. Um, but I'm going to choose the baby that's giving you a mad side, side eye. Uh, you know, me and my side eyes. I'm choosing that baby because it looks mad. And you can go to BuzzFeed.com forward slash awesome awesomer and then what state do you actually belong in to find this quiz uh, the next question is which animal do you feel best represents you a uh, stallion there's some roosters there's a squirrel there's a red bird there's a bear there's a beaver there's a deer I think it's a emu um, another oh, a stag some type of duck and a bison um, Come on, you know, I'm going to say bear. <laughs> We're going to say bear on that one. What quality are you most attracted to in a partner? Well, edu well educated, mysterious, cultured, interesting, youthful, mature, thoughtful, ravenous, free spirited, physical beauty, generous, and unpredictable. Um, generous would have to be something I like, although. Yeah, we're still with Jennifer, generous. Which of these negative adjectives best applies to you? Hmm. Needy, severe, stingy, obsessive, indulgent, boring, miserable, distracted, depressed, cold, aloof, re reactionary. That's totally me. Pick a musician. We have Elvis Presley, Tina Turner, Jewel, Stevie Wonder, Bright Eyes, Al Green, Bon Iver, whoever that is, Hank Williams, Fish. Johnny Cash, The Flaming Lips. I like The Flaming Lips because they were on an episode of Charmed. And Jimi Hendrix. Um, it's going to have to be either Tina Turner or Stevie Wonder. It has, has to be Tina. It has to be Tina Turner. Uh, let's see. Which of these names would you choose for your baby? Michael, Sophia, William, Abigail, Jacob, Olivia, Liam, Isabel, or Alexander? Oh, Alexander, Ava, Jaden, or Emma? Where's Tanika and Junebug at? I'm probably going to choose William because that's my father's name. Um, yeah, William. As long as they don't call him Bill. Uh, <laughs> which of these is your favorite movie quote? I'm a firm believer in philosophy of a ruling class, especially since I rule from the clerks. Uh, oh man, how did you get beans above the frame? There's something about Mary. I gave Jesus a chance, sigh, but it didn't work out between us. Bill Durham, Bull Durham. Um, we are the Titans, the mighty, mighty Titans. Remember the Titans. All I need are some tasty ways of cool boys, and I'm fine. I, I could have guessed that. Um, Ridgemont, fast on my Ridgemont. Huh? Goonies never say die. I'm going to get a 4.0 in damage. SLC Punk. Never heard of that. Dewey stuff is overrated like Hitler. He did a lot. But do we all wish he would have just stayed home and gotten stoned? The title of Steve. We're on a mission from God. The Blues, the Blues Brothers. Y'all got Arby's all over me, Fargo. Say hello to my little friend, Scarface. There's no way... There's no place like home from the Wizard of Oz. Um, this is going to come down to Goonies and the Blues Brothers. Uh, we're going with the Goonies. We love the Goonies. I'm a fanboy, right? Um, choose an actor. So we have Denzel Washington, David Hasselhoff, Julia Roberts, Anna Kendrick, Matthew McConaughey, Ellen DeGeneres, Josh Dumel, Aaron Paul, Will Smith. Jimmy Kimmel, Steve Harvey, or Harrison Ford? Um, that's pretty easy, Ellen. Um, yeah, not, I, I'm not a fan of Denzel, Denzel or Steve Harvey, even though I'm black. What's your party anthem? Stronger by Kanye West. Don't Stop Believing by Journey. YMCA by the Village People. Fergalicious. Uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane. This is How We Do It. Cotton Eye Joe. The Last Night by the Strokes. Honey by Mariah Carey. 
fell in love with a girl by the stripes, drunk in love. Come on now, this is drunk in love by Beyonce or shots. I, you know, B's my girl, so we're gonna go with drunk in love. Which of these pictures? This is a one with pictures. Which of these pictures is the most appealing? There's a scene of water, creeks. There's coldness. Um, it's like a congested area. Oh, there's one with a lot of green and clouds. So we're gonna choose that. You have to. You guys are gonna have, what? <laughs> When we come back, I will tell you what state that I got, and you won't believe this. And I'm not moving. I'm sorry. I know they wrote that song for Rihanna. <laughs> She's mad because that, that would have been number one hit. Seriously, if Rihanna had sung that, it would have been number one. Anyhow, welcome back. I just took the what state do you actually belong in quiz, and you guys will not believe what I got. West Virginia. I mean, seriously? West Virginia? West Virginia. It says, you got West Virginia. You can be a bit of a negative person, which is true, at a time and are often a bit of a pessimist, which is true. This is kind of interesting. Maybe a realist is a better way to put it. That That is completely true. That doesn't mean you're not kind. However, you are a very gracious person, someone who is thankful for all they have. At the end of the day, you're the hardest working person you know, and you wear that on your sleeve. Oh, Wow. <laughs> that wow that that kind of described me to a T everybody that that is me in a nutshell uh, I, I, I have a lot of pride 
Hmm, interesting. But you remember uh, a few months ago, I did a quiz, which was, uh, well, not into a quiz. I, I did a show on what your state is worst at. And West Virginia had the highest rate of heart attacks. I, you know, I need to, that's why I need to slow down because I've been getting some heart attack clues. And I don't know if that's in the universe. And I'm rebuking that in the name of the Holy Spirit because I ain't trying to have a heart attack. But uh, 6.5 percent of the population has has had a heart attack in West Virginia. I'm not moving. <laughs> they, they they have snow right now. I'm not moving. But that was uh, what state do you actually belong in quiz? And from what I see, it um it was pretty accurate. So, you know, yesterday I've been reading from this book called The Unofficial U.S. Census. Things that official U.S. Census does not tell you about America. And last night, I told you guys uh, what was on Americans' mind. Tonight, um, I'm going to give you 10 key facts on how Americans live and die. Number one. Number one is how tall are you? The average, the African, <laughs> the average American adult male is five foot nine, and the average woman is five foot four. So I'm above average. Number two, do you have a cardio cardiovascular disease? Twenty percent uh, of Americans do. Wow, see, these I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> Three, how many people have Alzheimer's disease? More than five million Americans. Number four. Do you have arthritis? 22% of adults say they have some form of the condition. I have a little, I think I have a little author in my thumb. Number five, how much chicken does the average American eat? 60 pounds a year. I eat more than that. Uh, <laughs> number six, do you like ice cream? Apparently, the average person eats 14 pounds of ice cream a year. Now, I don't know how true that is because, um, I, um, not that I don't like ice cream. I, I won't. I won't eat ice cream in the winter, and if I do eat ice cream, it's in the summer, and it's very rare because I don't like. Well, ice cream can be messy and it gets melty, and I, I'm, I'm I eat sherbet, but although. I don't think I went out there at all last year. Surely I did. Um, there's an ice cream place called Orange Leaf. I don't know if you guys have Orange Leafs in your city, but and they have this yogurt, and they have like a yogurt bar, and they have all these diff different little things. And I used to go in there and get the wedding cake ice cream with the brownies and chocolate and something other kind of ice cream, but yogurt. But it was really really good. So. Um, I don't know if that's true, but it's it's possible. Yeah, I'm here lately. I've been eating some gelato. Um, Walmart has some good gelato called Talenti, a Talenti or something like that. Um, it's like five dollars for like a pint, and but it's so it's it's addictive. It's and my niece got me started on it because she had purchased some um, peanut butter and she doesn't like peanut butter like that. And but it was good. I'm sorry, it was good. And I got some. I got caramel cookie dough the other day. It was really, really good. But at 14 pounds in a year, I don't think so. Um, number seven: Are you a vegetarian? Three percent of Americans follow some type of vegetarian diet. That's actually a pretty good percentage. Number eight: How much sleep do Americans get? Just 6.7 hours on weeknights. Um, I get. A, I I try to get six. If I finally doze off around four, which I know it's really really bad, I try to get six per uh, six six hours of sleep. So four, and I get up about around ten. That's six. And if I can sleep till eleven, normally I get my most sleep from Friday night into Saturday, and Saturday night into Sunday. I get my most sleep because I'm tired. Not that sometimes I do shows and I, I try not to stay on past two. And I try not to do more than an hour. So we're going to be right, right around 73 minutes tonight. But um, I, I think that's, I, I agree with 6.7 hours. I wish you get more, but you know, they say you need to get eight, but I don't get eight either. Um, number nine, what's the likelihood that you will die from an encounter with a snake or other reptile? One in 3.8 million. So you have a a better chance of, of getting bit by a snake than you do um, winning the lottery. Hmm. Interesting. What's the most likely cause of death for Americans? Uh, heart disease. 
Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I think I've been getting some clues from the cos cosmos. My chest was hurting, and that's why I stopped drinking all the soft drinks. Now, if I can cut back the smoking, I think I'll be fine. But I'm not gonna put that in the universe. Um, I just need to go to the doctor and get that all worked out. Um, I don't think there's much else to talk about tonight, guys. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm here, you're here, we're here. It's the Five by Five Late Night Show, and I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. <laughs>